Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to install XPNology uh, Synology DSM 5.0 uh, without ESXi this time onto your HPN 54L. Uh, first thing we're going to need to do is download Win32 Disk Imager, uh, Gino Boot, and the Synology DSM file. Okay, so once you've got Win32 Disk Imager uh, extracted, run it. Uh, browse to your image file, which in my case is Data D. Gene Boot Alpha, uh, select your USB pen and press right. Plug the USB pen into your server uh, make sure it's set to boot from USB uh, by pressing F10 at the prompt. Okay, go to boot, boot devices, set that to USB, escape. Save changes and exit. Make sure to select genoboot.me and if you want DSM 5.0 then the top option. It will begin to load XPNology's Genoboot uh, kernel. Okay, now that we're at the uh, disk station login prompt, we need to go back to our computer to remember. Okay, now that we're back on our computer, we need to uh, load up Synology Assistant. Do a search. See, there's my disk station 192.168.1.2. I'll we'll just click that, uh, double click it. It should load up a web page. Okay, now we just need to uh, accept that all data will be lost on the hard drives. Uh, clean installation if you're asked for the option. Uh, select the DSM file that you downloaded from the link in, on the web page. And press next. Create a password. Uh, name it if you want and press install. And confirm the hard drives will be wiped so make sure to have backups and once you're, sh uh, once you're okay with that press okay. Okay and the install will begin. After around 600 seconds uh, it, shall, it should automatically refresh the page and take you to a screen that looks like this. Uh, log into it Next. Uh, it's up to you. I'll skip it. Set the license agreement. Okay. And there we go. Synology DSM 5.0 running on a HPN 54L. Thanks for watching.